evening. Good evening. Hi, my name is uh, Sean Kelly. I'm speaking in front of you today in regards to the proposal of landlords assisting tenants in relocation costs. I want to present some numbers right now because uh, I like math. I'm a small business owner. I manage a moving company. Uh, so as of July 16, the medium average for a two-bedroom apartment in our city is $1,600. Most, if not all, landlords require first and last month's rent, as well as a security deposit, equal to rent, the same cost of rent. Now, assuming there is no last month's, this puts us at $3,200 just for the guarantee of a new apartment on the medium <coughs> average. Excuse me. It usually costs $50 per person to apply, even apply for a new apartment. Uh, if you have two people, a couple, that is $100 right there for just one application. People usually submit about 10. We're looking now at $4,200 just to relocate. That is what's being proposed for a two bedroom household in this relocation assistance. $4,200 for a no cause eviction. And I feel that must be stated repeatedly for the landlords worried if you don't do no cause evictions, this does not affect you. If you do not put people in the position of 90 days to save up $4,200, this does not affect you. Also, with moving costs, all moving costs through moving companies are regulated by the state of Oregon through the OMSA, which is the Oregon Moving and Storage Association. All rates are fixed. For two movers and a truck, it is $130.95 in an hour with a two-hour minimum. An average three-bedroom average three, apartment on a third story takes five to seven hours to move. You are looking at $908.15. Add that to $4,200, you are looking well above what is even being asked right now. Tenants still have a financial responsibility with this relocation assistance asked. All it's asking is that landlords put in the same responsibility. The poor working class has most often taken all responsibility for stuff out of our control. It's time for the middle class to do the same. Thank